broke it. No. Okay. So one thing we haven't talked about is um, uh, using uh, literals like this. So we, we're using this times eight as a modifier for our last x accelerator. You might have times four, times five, or times six. It's all up to you. Uh, but uh, having this number down here means that if I want to adjust this heading, right? If I want to adjust the amount that we're multiplying the heading by, I have to find this spot in code and then change it. Okay, it's much easier. It's much easier to have um, a place where you can just modify that value. Um, and just know that it's going to change your code, like settings, right? So like when you guys are playing your video game and you go in to change the graphic setting or the sound volume or whatever setting it is you want to change, right? There's one place you go to do that. You pull up that menu, right? And then you make your adjustments, you click save. You don't have to dig into the code, right? To figure out where that setting needs to be changed because it, it, there's a, a setting uh, settings menu, all right? Now we can't do a settings menu here. But we can use globals to make changing these values e easier. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a global for this um, modifier. Okay. So we're going to go variables, initialize global. Okay. And we're going to call this global the heading impact modifier. I just made that up just now. Isn't that an awesome name? The heading impact modifier. All right. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drag out the getter for that. And then we're going to take this times eight. And we're going to lock that in as the heading impact modifier, whatever your number is. And then we'll just put this orange block, boom, right there. Okay. Now the advantage of doing this, I'm going to zoom out a little bit is that we can make like, a, I'm just gonna, I'm dragging this uh, this uh, global variable over here to the left. Ah, oh boy. Tell you what, man, this, <laughs> I start recording a video and it just goes all Awful. Heading impact modifier. I'm just dragging this up and to the right, uh, to the left. So this is kind of our settings menu over here. Okay. Whenever we create something and we want to like, you know, set the speed or, well, that's a good example, right? Of something else like the speed of the ball, right? What if I want to change the speed of the ball? I have to go in here and find everywhere where I set the speed of the ball, and I have to change it. So we could do a variable, initialize global, okay? And we can call this uh, initial ball speed, okay? I think it's like 15. Well, I'm just going to duplicate that number eight there, right? And we just set that to 15. No. And then um, if I drag out the getter for initial ball speed, I can find where ball speed is set here's one right here. See where it says, I guess it's 10, not 15. Um, see here where we've got the 10 here. All right. I can snap that off and put the ball speed setter on. Okay. And then I can delete this 10. We've got another one right down here. I'm going to just duplicate the initial ball speed getter. I don't know if we have anywhere else where we do that. I think we're good.
Yeah. So then you might have noticed as you were doing that, I don't know how many of you guys thought about it, but you might have noticed the 270. Okay. That's the initial heading. Okay. Um, so not a bad idea to make another setting for initial heading, right? Maybe you want the ball to start going at an angle instead of, um, you know, straight up. Maybe you want it at an angle. Well, you could change the initial heading by doing another one over here. So this becomes like a settings menu over here. Oh, I think the ball's too fast, so I can just come in here. I can change that to 10, right? And then that's going to change the ball speed for all locations where we set the ball speed in the program. Does that make sense? So this becomes like a settings menu over here. And keeping track of this and using globals like this in the program uh, makes it easier for game designers to do their work. All right. Um, a close example to this 